Hey guys, welcome back. So, I want to quickly start by letting you guys know that I'm changing my filming dates. Um, originally, I was trying to film three times a week, and the reality is that that's just a bit too much for me. I have a lot going on at work, and with the baby and everything else, I just feel like I'm really tired. <laughs> like, I'm exhausted at this point. Um, so I wanted to let you guys know that you guys can expect a video from me on Wednesdays and Sundays. I hope that works. So I wanted to share with you guys some new goodies that I've gotten recently. Part of it is gratis. Some of it are things that have been given to me um, by my friend. And so I really wanted to show you guys some of the things I got. I'm going to start off with... I'm just going to randomly select things i'll let you guys know if i bought it if i got it in gratis um if it was given to me you know i'll fill you guys in so i'm going to start off with the natasha denona eyeshadow palette number um 10 and this is what it looks like this is actually a purchase um this color here got me in that color it's really beautiful um, I wish this color was slightly more pigmented, but it looks really pretty, but I was expecting like this really vibrant orange and her metallics, there's nothing like her metallics, like they're just gorgeous. That's what that looks like. They're very, very pretty, smooth, easy to blend out. Um, and I blame my friend Jessica for turning me on to these guys because they're quite pricey, but honestly, totally worth the investment. Like they're just, they're beautiful palettes. The other thing I got, um, this is actually again a purchase. It's the Sugar Lip Treatment Perfecting Wand. And I was supposed to get this in gratis, but um, the rep said that she would be leaving me something else. And I ended up buying it myself. So let me show you guys what that is. It looks like this when you take this off the little silicone bristles that you use you apply it and it just kind of exfoliates your lip um, it gives you like a really pretty glossy finish but when I used it I just really love how it just gets in between any dry cracks I know it sounds disgusting um, but it really does get in between you know, I need dry cracks and then it just smooths the lip and it hydrates. So I really liked it. I got, and can I just tell you guys, these items were purchased about three weeks ago. I am on a no buy, um, what do they call it? No buy binge, maybe something like that. Um, I haven't bought any makeup in three weeks. So this was literally the last stuff I got. But I bought the NARS um, Bank de Sable, or Sable, however you want to say, highlighting palette. That's what it looks like. And I instantly fell in love with this when I swatched it. Like, I was like, oh, no, I need this. Let me show you. That's what the colors look like. I'll swatch them. It is just a really beautiful everyday highlighting palette the colors are great for any skin type and um, they're more of a natural highlight but I do like that all three colors came in a palette so you can use them whenever however you want so I like them a lot so I got a new foundation it's a powder foundation it's actually a brand that I'm not very big on but oddly enough I'm pleasantly surprised that I'm actually enjoying it. This is the Bare Minerals Original, and this is in the shade Neutral Medium. So that's what it looks like. We got the brush also, which is really, really nice and soft. But um, I actually used this on Sunday. Um, I We were going out. I really didn't film this weekend because I didn't want to wear makeup. So I literally did not wear makeup all weekend and on Sunday because we we're going out for breakfast with family I'm like I need to do something about this skin so I took this this applied it and it just gave me a little bit of coverage 
and it was enough like it was good um i will tell you guys that i don't know how i feel about this product because bare minerals is one of the first brands that i started off with when i was first wearing makeup so i think it was like probably in my 20s like early to mid 20s i know and my sister actually bought this and you know we're like oh yeah it looks good and she got us into it and this was the foundation that i was buying and it was fine up until i remember i was out at a club i was dancing and then all of a sudden my face just started to itch like i wanted to scratch my face off that's how itchy it was and it was this um it, i had never had that problem but i think the fact that i was sweating um just kind of mixed with the foundation and it's a disaster i tried it so many other times so that's probably a foundation i would stay away from in the summer me personally um but right now we're still kind of in like chilly weather and i can totally wear it it's fine so it looked fine no complaints i got an igk speechless hair and body dry oil finishing spray this is what it looks like and then they, it comes with this and it has a little hair tie um i haven't tried this out but i hear it's supposed to be really good so we'll see i got this little mini bite beauty um lip pencil and lipstick i really like these this is the pencils in 016 let me show you what it looks like it's very pretty and then the lipstick that they gave us is pepper which is also really pretty so it's pepper and that's a liner in 016. i got this lancome extreme longwear eyeliner in brick and let me swatch this for you guys it's that there it's this really pretty like red coppery shade and i've already played with it a little bit um it's very creamy smooth it applies easily but i feel like it doesn't stay very well on the waterline i hate to say it but it's true um, i have this tata harper eye cream and this tata harper face cream so the last three items i'm very excited to show you guys So I was given the Marc Jacobs Do You Drops. Love this. I actually am wearing this today mixed in with my foundation. Mm -hmm. I was a little concerned because my friend told me that mixing it with the found any foundation would just kind of make it look a little bit more metallic on her. So I was sure that it was going to look metallic. But I feel like I'm luminous. Um, I did my makeup today, same time as always. Probably started doing my makeup about 5.40, 5.50 in the morning. And it is now 8.15 p.m. And I, what else do I want to say? Pregnancy brain, dude. <laughs> it sucks. Um, oh, I took a nap. I took a nap and... My makeup is still intact. I have I didn't even touch up at all for um, filming. I just threw on a gloss because I looked a little pale. But honestly, it did not disrupt my makeup. It looks so good. Um, it's very lightweight, and I had literally mixed it with my Becca foundation and applied it, and I really liked it. I thought the result was really pretty. And then I got, this was also given to me, um, the Metalist Liquid Foil Lipstick Duo by Touch and Soul in the shade Lucy. That's what it looks like. So first you put on the liquid or the, yeah, the liquid lipstick part, which is really pretty on its own. There it is. And as you guys can see, it's definitely, it looks metallic-y. And then you can add the gloss on top. And this is like gorgeous. Oops. That's a gloss right there. I'm gonna wait for the liquid lipstick to settle a little bit and then I'll put it on top so you guys can see what it looks like. 
that's the liquid lipstick with the gloss on top so it's very pretty um i've worn it already and it wears pretty well it's comfortable it doesn't feel gritty at all with this particular shade i know my friend jessica has penny and she absolutely loves it um this one i felt like once it came completely off i had like a little thin layer of silver glitter um on my lips and i felt like i could feel it i felt a little gritty but again you can reapply it and then you're back to like you know step one and and it doesn't feel like textured or uncomfortable um but the color is absolutely gorgeous the last thing was also gifted to me and i love it i got the jeffree star androgyny palette i have uh what's the other one called i have his first palette also my friend melissa gave it to me um but check this out it is so freaking pretty um i haven't played with this yet i've been really good um but it's absolutely gorgeous i feel like the colors are all gorgeous but this row here the bottom row it just it's calling my name like it's just like come on play with us the palette itself is gorgeous all of the colors are absolutely gorgeous i just i don't know i'm something i'm drawn to just that bottom row um so if you guys want to see a tutorial with this let me know all right guys so that's all i have for you let me know if you guys have any questions um if you guys want me to review or do a tutorial with any of these products um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll talk to you soon bye